Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor Theme Builder video series. In the previous videos, we designed different templates for header, footer, single page, single post, blog, and error 404 page. Now on this dummy website, I have installed the WooCommerce plugin to create an e-commerce store. Now when I install the WooCommerce plugin, the Elementor Theme Builder will give me two more options to create templates. That will be single product and product archive template. So on the product archive template, it will show all the products listed on your website. And this will be the single product template. Now you can see that I have added some dummy products on this website. Let's see how the default layout of the single product page looks like. So here is the single product page. Now we are going to customize the single product page using the Elementor theme builder. So let's start with the video. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. All right, I'm already logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. Now let's go to templates and then go to theme builder. Now here you will see the list of templates that we have already created. Now I do have complete WooCommerce video series where you will see how to add products, how to customize the WooCommerce shop page. So you can check out the WooCommerce video series. Now on this theme builder, let's go to the single product. Right now we do not have any template for the single product. So click on add new. Now here you will see the pre-designed single product page template. Let's see how does this look. So here you will see the featured image, the title, the content, the price, add to cart and some related products. All right, so we are going to do it manually. So let's close this one. Now let's add the single column section. We are going to add the title section here. So let's add some padding. And we are going to add some background image also, just like what we did for the single page and single post template. So this will be the section for the titles. Here the title of the product will show. All right, now click on the plus sign to show the product title. You will see all the elements here that you can use for the single product. All the elements are listed here. So we are going to use this title, product title. So drag it and drop it here. Now change the color, let's say white. And let's customize the text. Let's center align it. So this will be the name of your product, the title of your product. Now let's say we are going to add two column section here. And let's add some padding to the top and bottom. Here we will show the product image, the featured image. So click on product images, drag it and drop it here. Now it will show one of the product, the image here. Now you can customize the product image. Let's say if you have border radius, if you want to show some border radius, you can show the border radius like this. We will show the product title again. Let's customize it. Now let's add the product short description. Now this is the product meta. Now this is about the category, we chose the category of the product. So let's have it at the top. You 
you can customize the you can change the color also from this style section now let's add the price the product price you can see the price of the product here change it to dark blue let's add two column section and here we will get the price and here we will name it as price so let's say let's take the heading here and name it as price change the style all right so this is the price of the product you can customize the width of the columns all right now after the product price we are going to add this button add to cart put it just below the price now let's change if you want to change the color of the button you can change the color the background color let's take it from here blue and hover color will be let's say black all right so this is add to cart button now let's say what we what other things we can add to this section product data tabs let's put it here let's see what happens this is the description and this is the review so let's add it below this section so add another section here and let's add product data tabs here okay so this is the description and this is the reviews so if there is a description it will show here and if there are any reviews it will show the reviews here let's see we are going to add WooCommerce breadcrumbs okay so this is a breadcrumb now if you have any upsells you can show the upsells also we will add upsells below this one okay right now we do not have any upsell however if there is any upsell we will it will show here let's see this is the printed green shirt so let's go to edit we are going to add some upsell here so let's say we are going to add another t-shirt here Okay, so we have added two upsells here. Let's update it. Now let me delete this one and try it again. Upsells. Now you will see two products added to the upsells. Okay, so this is how you can add the upsells product here. Now you can customize this also. You can change the style. Here the title color, change it to dark blue. This is the title color for the product. Now let's center align it. Let's change the color, the price color also. Let's say green. And the button background color, change it to dark blue. And the text will be this one. Right now the box say we are going to add some border here okay so this is how it will look now we have got the upsells here now let's see what else we can show here now below that if you want to show more products you can add another column another section just have some padding to the top and bottom and just go to WooCommerce section here and add products so it will show the remaining products here so 
so you can set the number of products four columns four rows so it will show at least 16 products here and you can set the query to show the products so these are the options that you can add on this single page so let's see how does this look so these are the upsells and these are all other products so now let's click on publish click on add condition and this template will be used for the single product so let's click select these products now click on save and close all right so now the template has been published and this is the default layout now let's refresh it all right now you can see the new layout for the single product page where is the category, the title, the description, the price and add to cart button, the tabs, this is the upsells and these are the other products to be shown on this page. So this is how you can customize the single product page using Elementor Theme Builder. Now in the next video we will see how to design template for the shop page. Now you can see the current shop page looks like this. So all the products are listed here. So in the next video, we are going to customize this product archive page or the shop page using Elementor Theme Builder. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.